Grade 6 math number 10.3, solve addition and subtraction equations for x. A variable is a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown number. A solution of an equation is a value of a variable that makes the equation true. 2 plus y equals 6. The solution of this equation is that y equals 4 because the value of the variable y is 4, and it makes the equation true. To solve an equation, we must get the variable to one side of the equal sign by itself. We need to isolate it, and we can do this by using properties of equality. This is where you get your notes out and you write this down. Add it to your notebook. The subtraction property of equality says, if we subtract the same number from both sides of an equation, the two sides will remain equal. So if we have 5 plus 3 equals 8, and we subtract a 3 because it's got the plus 3, and then we subtract 3 from this side, these two, the plus 3 and the minus 3, cancel out because there are 0 pairs, and they become a 0. 8 minus 3 becomes a 5. We have now isolated it off to one side. That's if there was a variable here. And then we'd have 5 plus 0, which is 5 equals 5, see? And because of these inverse operations, they're operations that undo each other, we made them zero by canceling each other out, see? All right, so Bob walked six of the 11 miles of the race. So how many miles did he run? Well, he walked six of them, so he ran six plus m equals 11. That's the miles. So what we do is we take away six from each side, see? to make zero pairs and to cancel them out. So we end up with m equals 5, see? So we took the 6 from each side. It isolated the m by itself on this side so that it was just an m and a 0, all right? Let's try it again. 17 is equal to x plus 14. So we're going to take away 14 from each side to isolate the x. We're going to get rid of this plus 14 by getting a minus 14. Well, this becomes a 0, and this becomes a 3, and we see 3 is equal to x. x equals 3. So we isolate the variable by removing the number on the same side as the variable. Same side of the equal sign. If we can remove the variable, if we can isolate the variable on this side of the equal sign by taking this number away that's on the same side of it, then we'll get to find out what its value is, what the variable's value is, okay? All right. The addition property of equality says if we add the same number to both sides of an equation, the two sides will remain equal. So now, before, when we did the subtraction property, we would had an addition problem we used it on by subtracting from each side. Now we're going to use the addition property on subtraction problems. So if we've got 6 minus 2 equals 4, Pretend that one of these is a variable. What we do, like if 4 was the variable, we would add 2, because this is minus 2, we would add 2 to both sides so that this would cancel out, and we'd end up with a 6 minus 0 equals 6. See? And we do the inverse operation, the minus 2, we do plus 2 to do the opposite to cancel it out. All right, let's. So, just so you know, we can add the same amount to each side of the equal sign in a subtraction equation to solve for x, okay? All right, so now we've got the difference in the front and the variables in the middle. So we've got 12 is equal to a minus 16. What we do is we need to get the a by itself. So if we've got a minus 16, we're going to do plus 16. But the 12 gets jealous, and it wants plus 16 also. So we end up with 28. a is equal to 28, see? Let's do it again. y minus 10 equals 23. We need to isolate the y by itself. Well, if there's a minus 10, we're going to have to do a plus 10 here. So we do the plus 10. The 23 gets jealous. It wants plus 10. And we end up with y is equal to 33. See? Because we got this to cancel it out. See? No big deal. I think you can handle this. This is not that difficult, OK? I think you're totally smart enough to do this on your own, okay? Just practice, and remember, 
that when you do the subtraction property of equality, you use the subtraction one on addition problems, and you do the opposite, you use the addition property on subtraction problems. Because you're trying to do the inverse, remember? Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.